Hey guys, Taufik here. Now this is going to be a slightly different video from what I generally do on this channel. I will not be teaching any concept in this video, but rather I will be recommending an SQL course that I believe is one of the best that you can find online. Now straight away, I want to say that it's not going to be a free course. So if you're looking for a free course, then this video is not for you. But if you're okay to spend some amount of money to get one of the best contents to learn SQL online, then definitely stay tuned. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to give you a special promo code that you can use to get some special discount on these courses. Now, the platform that I'm talking about is learnsql.com. Now, this is a platform that I have been personally using from the past few years, even before I started my YouTube channel. Now, generally, every IT professional or anyone who uses programming, we would generally have some favorite websites uh, which we always refer to whenever we are facing some issues or we want to brush up some skills. And for me, when it comes to SQL, one of those websites is learnsql.com. So from my personal experience, I can tell that the quality of contents that are available on this platform is actually pretty good. And not just the SQL courses, but also the blogs that are posted on this platform is actually uh, of very good uh, quality. Now recently, learnsql.com added few new courses specific to MySQL database. And I wanted to showcase a couple of courses that I would highly recommend if you're interested in learning SQL using MySQL database. I will be walking through these courses and showcase all the different contents that are covered in these courses. So you kind of get an idea of what are the different things that is covered in these courses and then maybe you can make an informed decision if these courses are for you or not. Now before I can showcase uh, these uh, courses, I understand that there are hundreds of different courses available online in so many different platforms. But what makes the courses on learnsql.com so special is the way how each concept is uh, explained and covered in these courses. Now, every single concept that you will learn in learnsql.com courses is basically explained in a practical way. That is, you would generally find some small explanation to a particular concept and then you would be asked to write an SQL query or solve a problem uh, using these concepts. So this is the best way to learn SQL because understanding the theoretical explanation or the concept of any concept in SQL is pretty easy. But then using these concepts to practically solve a problem is, the, is where most people struggle. And this is exactly what learnsql.com sql.com does beautifully well and that is why i highly recommend uh, these uh, courses on learnsql.com now let me go ahead and showcase uh, the contents of these courses i'll leave the link to this platform in the description below so you can definitely check that out and you can follow along uh, with me as well okay so once you are in learnsql.com homepage this is basically what you would see you can click on courses and this is where you would see all the different courses that are available in their platform. Now all of these are SQL courses and depending on what your skill set is, if you want basic courses, you can find it here. And if you want to learn some advanced SQL concept, you would find courses related to that as well. Or if you just want to find courses where you can practice writing SQL queries, then there are courses related to that as well. Also, there are courses specific to your database. So if you want courses related to MySQL or PostgreSQL or Microsoft SQL Server, you have these courses here. And let's say you want Want to do courses in the standard SQL then you can find them here as well. Now for this video I'm just going to showcase the new courses that have been added for my SQL database. So I'm just going to choose my SQL here and yeah so this is all the courses that are related to my SQL. Now there are two courses or basically uh, learnsql.com calls them as a track. There are basically two tracks that I would recommend for anyone. Now if you want to start uh, learning SQL from absolute scratch, then I would recommend this one that is SQL from A to Z in my SQL. And if you just want to practice writing some SQL queries, then I would recommend SQL practice in my SQL, uh, this particular track. So now let's just look at this particular track that is SQL from A to Z. Now I cannot cover each and every content I cannot basically showcase each and every content but I'll try to uh, showcase all the important ones here now under this track you would see that there are seven different courses and the seven different courses are SQL basics in MySQL this is basically uh, the most uh, introduction to SQL if you are starting from scratch this is exactly the course that you need to uh, start because this is where they start from telling what is a database what are tables all the important notations and etc and then there is another course okay so if if I just go in detail here so let's say if I just open this and just to showcase you what it contains you can see that under this particular course you have again several different uh, concepts that are covered so initially this is just kind of like an introduction to what uh, database what tables are what columns and rows are etc then once you are thorough with that then they get into uh, basically asking you to write SQL queries where you will kind of be using just like a single table and you kind of uh, learn how to filter the data using 
uh, certain operators like uh, logical operators and uh, using some wildcard wild card characters etc uh, also how to uh, handle null values uh, or to filter basically null values etc so this uh, basic sql queries is what is explained in this uh, uh, in this section of this particular course right so once you are thorough with this uh, section the next part is where you will be writing sql queries where you will be fetching data from more than one table so you kind of learn about simple joins and once you are thorough with that then it takes you into the aggregate uh, functions and grouping by clauses this is where it will also cover some having clause uh, concepts and etc so all of this concept that you see here right it's not just some theoretical explanation everything is explained in a practical way so for example let's say if i just go to group by group by here and let's say I just click on any one of the sections right so generally this is how all the concepts are taught as you can see here uh, there is some simple explanation about whatever the concept that they, they are teaching in this particular section and then at the end you would have a section so I think for every uh, topic that is taught there will be an ex uh, exercise uh, section here this exercise section is what makes uh, this courses very special because everything that you learn in each of the sections you will then need to apply those uh, in writing some SQL queries and they have some really uh, very uh, useful exercises so the data sets they use the tables that they use the data they use uh, the scenarios they mention everything is kind of like a realistic uh, scenario and anyone can relate it uh, relate to it in your day-to-day -day life so uh, if let's say you are not able to solve this problem then you can also find the answer you can just click on show me answer they will show you the answer uh, and all the databases and the tables that will be used uh, to solve this query will be mentioned here so it's kind of like this is how everything is explained it's not a theoretical explanation it's not a video explanation uh, it's just like half of the section is some explanation with some proper examples and proper data sets and then at the last section is basically the exercise where you will need to use those concepts to uh, solve a particular problem right and if you're not able to solve it you cannot basically proceed but of course you can also ask uh, learn sql itself to provide you the answer by just clicking on this or in some sections you would also find some hints which you can uh, click to find some uh, hints to solve the problem right so this is basically how every concept is explained in a learn sql now if i just go back and okay so i think we were in group by clause here and after group by uh, after we have seen this section uh, we also have the next session where they talk uh, in depth about joints so all the different types of joints like the left joints all the other outer joints and natural join everything is covered here then there is another section for subqueries all the different types of subqueries including correlator subqueries is covered here and then finally there is a section for operators union and union all operators and finally after every course at the end there will be a quiz section basically this is kind of like your wrap up of uh, everything that you have learned you kind of uh, get questions related to all the concepts that you have learned so uh, with this you can test how much you have understood all the different concepts so this is basically what you have under this particular course that is for SQL basics in MySQL and similarly if I go to all the other courses so for example let's say if I go to the second course uh, in this particular track that is A to Z uh, in SQL you would see that under this uh, course that is common mysql functions you would basically include all the inbuilt functions uh, which we commonly use so uh, numeric functions date and time functions uh, null functions etc okay and uh, similarly if i go to the next section you have a section for all the dml operations uh, basically how to load data update data and uh, delete data not just simple update insert and uh, delete but there are a lot more uh, complex concepts that are uh, covered in these uh, courses as well so uh, it's like there are a lot of information that is given there is a lot of concepts about sql that are covered under each of these courses right so if i just go back here the next course is basically you have uh, building basic uh, reports so this is where you will start writing more complex sql queries uh, using some case statements uh, some group by clauses aggregate functions having clauses and many other things right and then there is a separate section for uh, window functions in mysql uh, some of the window functions are covered here and also it will cover some uh, frame clause and it will basically start from the scratch explaining you what are over clause what is a partition by uh, how window frame uh, function works uh, etc so it kind of covers everything that you would need to know about window functions that is uh, mentioned here and then there is another course for recursive queries in mysql now this basically covers uh, everything that you need to know about recursive sql queries and finally the last course is about uh, some extension to group by that is the roll-up clause this is covered uh, in this particular course now i'm not going to 
uh, get in uh, detail about each and every content that is covered for each and every course but you kind of get an idea right for every single concept of sql they have a separate course and everything is mentioned in detail you kind of like you will get a hands-on experience on all the different or all the important concepts of sql that you will need to learn right so this is one of the courses that i would recommend if you're starting from scratch definitely this is the course that you should uh, be taking and then there is another course that i would recommend is sql practice in mysql now if i just open that this basically consists of two different courses now this is a track uh, as you can see here and this consists of two different uh, courses uh, the first course is basically SQL joints in MySQL this is kind of like gets you into in depth of all the different types of joints so I think here they will also cover some equi join and non equi joints so everything about joints that you need to know and uh, the some SQL queries that you will need to solve using all of the different types of joints right and after that you have another course here that is uh, the SQL practice set in MySQL. This is basically where you would be given some uh, several sets of SQL queries that you will need to solve. So you can see here, this is some warm up uh, questions that you can see here, but then there are a lot of other questions that you will need to answer specific to each concept. So for aggregation and grouping, you have several different uh, questions or queries that you need to solve. For joins, you have several queries that you will need to solve. Similarly for subqueries and uh, some other uh, concepts here as well right so i think these are the two tracks that i would recommend if you're getting started with sql or basically sql from a to z in my sql is the track that i would recommend if you're getting started in sql and if you just want to solve sql queries then i would recommend this sql practice in my sql track now finally let's talk about uh, pricing now i think if you want to just purchase a particular course you can do that but i think the best uh, plan for this particular platform is to just buy the all forever plan i think it's uh, 179 dollars now but i have a promo code that you can use uh, and i'll leave the promo code in the description below so if you use that promo code you will get an additional 10 percent off i hope many of you guys would benefit from these uh, courses so definitely check that out guys and i'll leave all the details about these courses and the promo code and the link uh, to this uh, platform in the description below leave me any feedback that you might have if you have taken this course let me know what you think about these uh, courses and uh, that's all guys uh, see you soon in the next one bye